Hey, what's up guys, Chad here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the Wix platform and within the Wix platform, specifically talking about the menu, folders, and links, okay? These are really cool uh, things you can use to make your website a bit smoother when you're trying to take your visitor to where you want them to go and help them navigate around your site, not just your site, but maybe some other places as well. So we'll talk about those. First thing I want to talk about is this link, okay? Same thing with this, YouTube. If I click on that, that is a link, okay? It takes you to my YouTube video, all right? So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to create a folder. So now here's a website I did for a client, and if we navigate to the home page, it's where, where we're at. If I wanted to go to 804 Jiu Jitsu TV and I click here, it's going to take me to a page within the website, okay? So I click on that, and it takes me to this page where, you know, I have automatically, I have their their YouTube videos linked to this page so if they upload a video to YouTube it will also upload to this um, this page okay so they don't have to keep doing that it just automatically does it um, again um, if but, but what I want to talk about is this folder okay so I can click on these pages and it takes me to a page within the web website but this is a folder so I can't click on that news and events but what I do is if I hover over news and events, it brings up pages within that folder. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this really quick. So let's pop on into the website here. I have it open. Okay, so now I'm in the home page of my client's website. Um, if I come over and click on menus and pages right here, it's going to bring up all the menus and pages or the, well, it's going to bring up the pages within the menu. So this is my menu and these are the pages. Now I've gone in here and played around a bit, so let me delete this so I can show you exactly how it's done. So um, right away you see some icons, right? These icons here are like pages. That's exactly what they are. Uh, so if I add a page right here, you're going to see another one pop up. And sure enough, there it is. If I say done, you'll see a page. You'll also see new page right here in the menu. Don't want to do that. So the other thing you'll see is a folder, okay? That folder has pages in the folder. That's what I was showing you earlier uh, on this website. And that news and events is that folder right there. So fundamentally what you have in this folder are all these pages. Now, you won't see all these pages because I have them hidden. So I have those that little eye there with the line through it, that's hidden. But these two are not hidden. So the PASA's affiliate announcement and the 2018 NAGA results those are not hidden. So if I go back to their website, right, so I can show you their actual website, and I go to news and events, you'll see PASA's affiliate announcement, 2018 NAGA results, right there. That's a folder. Okay, so if you want to add a folder, you simply just say add a folder. Once you do that, you can add in subpages. So now you can see right away, folder pops up on the menu. Okay, and then you can say, now I want to add a page but I want to add that page to the submenu. So if I just type in Chad here, right? So that's a page now. But you can see it's in the menu um, as a clickable item in the menu, but I don't want it there. I want it to be in that folder. So I just drag it down to the folder, drag it over, and now it's a subpage. So if it's there, it's going to think it's um, still part of the menu. I have to pull it in a little bit, and there it is under the folder. So now if I go to preview, now I'll hover over a folder, and there's Chad. So that's a page in that folder. So that's how you create pages. Now, I'm gonna delete that. And so if I wanted to add a link, I could go in here and say, okay, well, where do I want that link to go? All right, I can set a URL so I can co go over to my YouTube channel, copy the URL, copy the web address or wherever it is, and or Facebook page, whatever you wanna put in here. And then I could paste it in and then that link would automatically take me to that page similarly or exactly like um, th my page did so that's a link right so if I were to go back into the Wix editor I could say all right well let's see how I do this and um, let me go over to what if I wanted to link to Chad's website so if I wanted to link to my website I just come here copy the URL pop over back into the editor paste it and I like to do new window so that way it doesn't it pops up as a new tab and then I say done what's crazy about that is you can see it says new link right I'll change that to say Chad 
done preview and now when I click on this it's gonna take me to my website now my client doesn't want that on his, <laughs> on his website so I'm gonna go back to editor I'm gonna delete that but now you have a good general idea of how to use links and folders within your site menu notice how that looks that icon it's a link so I'll delete that alright so how to get your hands on that free awesome guide right here right so down in the in the description below you should see a little uh, area where you can download um, websites that convert it should be a clickable link there go ahead and do that if it's not there it should be but just for some odd reason if it's not there then I'm gonna click right here on my YouTube channel and show you where you can find it so pause that if you go up here right here free website to convert you click on that and it'll take you to that web page as well or that landing page okay make sure you get that free download i'm chad and i will see you in the next video but before i go before i go if you like this video go ahead and click that subscribe button and click that bell notification or that bell icon so you can get notified when i release a new video again i'm chad thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video